further along now. As you can see we've cut out the panels of the floor. There's a lot of undoing and unbolting in order to get the panels free. And obviously now we've got access to... These are the chassis members that are left in place. I've still got to repair that pipe because uh, we kind of cut through that. It's a vacuum pipe for the brakes and it's not too difficult to fix. You just put an extra pipe across it and just cut it through and put a pipe on. But crucially now you can see all the way through. That chassis member there, I'm going to cut that out because I've got to put the motor vertically in. And you can see it's in the way. <coughs> so we get rid of that and I'll make a frame to put the motor in. But uh, probably for now I'll leave those ones in place and reattach the gearbox now that we've got everything sorted and I'll just reattach the gearbox just so that it doesn't destroy it I'm not going to use the engine <laughs> no because the idea is to use the electric motor there's a brake balance thing there that'll probably have to come off as well because I'm going to be rotating the uh, the prop shaft <coughs> the axle sorry vertically so that means we're going to end up uh, screwing that up so I'll have to take that off so we've just basically got to undo those bolts there and those bolts there, yeah, them ones, okay. We'll take the shocker off for now, but I can fashion another bit of box just the same as that at 90 degrees to it. We'll take that shocker off as well. Is that attached by a piece of box? Yeah, see? So I can just put another piece of box on at 90 degrees and we'll be laughing. Yeah, there's the other one. Let's see the bolts section. So we rotate that, and then that, which is where it's connected, will then face upwards, and then we can stick a motor on it, can't we? And uh, and that'll be the power for the van. Yeah. Hey, let's just take pictures of the relic. <laughs> but you know, it's it doesn't look. You know, I mean, obviously, I'm just taking three sections out of the floor, plus extended the front section. So, <clears throat> on the face of it, it looks like I could have probably cut that through quite easily, but of course you don't know until you get all the bits off and see what's going on. So anyway, but that circular saw is a beast. It basically, I cut all that floor out, that side down there, I did with the angle grinder, that was the first cut, and that took me half an hour, right? But it took me half an hour to cut all the rest of that out. And that included time taking the, uh, the nuts and everything off. So that saw's a beast, that one there. there. It's a beast, it just cuts through it like butter. You cut through a cross like that, and it does it in seconds. And it's a nice, neat cut as well, look. See, lovely, neat cut. Mm. So, now we've got to cut that chassis member out and get the motor in, do the prop shaft stuff. Yeah.